What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I know that I am. Anytime I sit down to record a YouTube video, I'm just, it puts me in such good mood. Like I just really, really enjoy talking about this stuff. So I sit down, my serotonin skyrockets through the roof and I'm just, mm, I'm so pumped to record this video. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. Today we're gonna be talking about which camera you should buy as a beginner photographer. I know that there are about a trillion different options and brands and you know, people feeding you into this and then into that. And I know it can be extremely hard to pick out a camera when you're first starting out. So I hope this video helps narrow down the right one for you, not the right one for everybody else, but the right one for you, which is why we're gonna jump right into tip number one. Buy the camera that you can afford. I know how expensive it can be, trust me. When I was first starting out, I was looking at like $3,500 cameras and I'm like, how am I ever going to afford that when I don't even make money from photography? And there are cheaper options. You just have to know which ones that you're looking for. I personally started out with a, I went on the Facebook marketplace and I started with a Canon PowerShot. I think this thing cost me like maybe a hundred bucks. It was definitely like a super cheap option. It was when I first started vlogging and it had the little flip out LCD screen and that's all I really wanted. I, I didn't care about the lens swap or the mic, none of it. I was like, I just need a camera that I can see myself on a screen and I will be just fine. And was I just fine? Yeah, I was. I used that thing for probably like a year and a half. And then as I started growing a little bit, I was like, you know, I should, I should probably upgrade for a little bit because the, the quality was all right, but it was definitely not, I wanted to be able to switch out my lenses and I wanted the audio to sound better. So I was like, it's time for an upgrade. And that's when I switched over to the Canon 80D, which is mostly known as the Casey Neistat vlog camera. He had about a thousand of these things. He is the reason that I bought this thing to be completely honest. I was like, if it was good enough for him, it was good enough for me. And it only cost me about, I think it was 600 and, 80 bucks. I got it used off the Canon website. Now, I don't want to say like only 680 bucks. That is definitely, you know, a substantial amount of money, but compared to some of the other DSLR cameras that creators use, I mean, I thought it was like the best deal that I was going to get. And it definitely, I'm still using it. This is what I'm recording on right now. I have a Canon 80D. I have a 16 to 35 millimeter, and then I have a Rode VideoMic Pro. This is an affordable setup in my opinion. I feel like if I can afford it, anybody can afford it. Trust me, I'm a college kid. Like, I don't, ha I don't make a ton of money, you know, so I feel like it's a very affordable setup. I'm going to put the entire setup fee right here. And honestly, like, I think if you're vlogging and stuff, this is the camera for you. I think it's for anybody that wants to get into vlogging, whether you're like a professional or you're amateur, like whatever you want to call yourself. I think this is a really good vlogging camera, but it is not the camera I use for my professional photography. Does it take good pictures? Absolutely. It's not, you know, it's not a bad camera or anything. I don't think Canon makes really bad cameras. By the way, I do think, I don't want to say Canon's better than Sony, but when it comes to a beginner, I think Canon is significantly easier to learn than a Sony. I even still struggle using Sony's nowadays. Like my friend has one. He was like, hey, can you record something for me? I barely even understood where the shutter was at. I just think that they're not very user friendly, especially if you're a beginner. I, I think Canon is the way to go in that route. Now, if you want to start with a Canon and switch over to a Sony, I think that's great, but I do think Canon wins the beginner roles. Now, when it does come to my professional photography, I use the Canon 5D Mark III. This thing is a beast. It is an absolute monster for what it is. It is a DSLR, it's not a mirrorless, so just so y'all know. But let me tell you, I have shot weddings with this. I do my graduation pictures with this. I do my portraits with this. Every little thing that I do, I'm doing it with this. Even I've started taking more videos on it, now I will say it is not a flip LCD screen. If it was, I would switch to this fully for my vlogs, but I, I just cannot master the not having a flip LCD screen. I don't know. I always get myself out of frame, even though I know to just like look into the sensor and like set it up that way. But for some reason, I just, I can't do it. Not yet at least. So if I could use this as a vlog camera, I absolutely would. I think the video quality is even better on this one, but this one did run me this one. It was about a thousand bucks. I actually bought this from a friend, so I got a really, really good deal on it. I know that they're a little bit more expensive, even if you buy it off like the Canon refurbished website. But if you can find one, maybe on the marketplace, um, eBay, something like that, and you can get it for a grand, it's a steal for what you get. This thing is an absolute tank. The shutter's high on it. The quality's high on it. I love that. Mine has it as well, but I never really used it as much. But the autofocus, I don't know if it's going to show y'all. If y'all can see the autofocus right back here, right here, um, it's just a good thumb placement. So like I put my, let me try to get out of the frame. My thumb goes here and then the autofocus is right here. 
and it's just so quick with the shutter. Like it just feels good in the hand. It's definitely a much deeper grip on it. And I prefer that. I know that some of the newer ones are, they're kind of skinnier. Um, like the mirrorless cameras, they're like skinnier right here. I like a beefy grip. Like I just feel like I can get a good grip on it. And it just, it makes me feel more secure, you know? They're expensive cameras and I don't want it too like skinny. I know that it's kind of like, it's the weight of it. They're trying to make them lighter and lighter, but if it's too light, I feel like I'm just gonna <laughs> fling it around, you know? But I love this camera. This is the best investment I have ever made. Other than I would say my 16 to 35 lenses, that is definitely in my, my top three investments. But this is what I shoot on every single day as a professional photographer. I have the Canon 50 millimeter, the cheap version, the 125. I did not go the USM lens on this. I honestly, I think that they look the same. Like I have a buddy who has the USM version and he says the same thing. He's like, your pictures look identical to mine and I paid about $600 more than you did. So if you can, you know, save money, save money. All of my gear is used, I might say. Other than I have a 24 millimeter that my mom got me for Christmas last year, everything is used. If I can save a buck, I'm gonna save a buck, you know? I'm a struggling college kid. I am just starting out in the industry. You gotta save money where you can save money, but this is my current setup. It is the Canon 5D Mark III. I will try to find, like on the refurbished site, a price for y'all. Um, I'll stick it up over here, but I don't know if find these on the refurbished site anymore. Um, Cause I, you know, they have like newer 5Ds out now, but if you can go on the marketplace, like the Facebook, eBay, Craigslist, there's so many options that I think you can find this thing for pretty cheap. And I'm telling you, like, I don't recommend any other camera. If if you were to ask me, if I am a beginner, I wish that I would have started with this one versus my ADD. Now, if I was going straight into photography, absolutely. Like I said, if you're doing vlogging, I think this is a fantastic option for vlogging, but just starting out as a photographer, Canon 5D Mark III, all the way, hands down my favorite camera right now. Like I said, my friend has the same camera as me the one that I bought it from. He has like eight of these things. He's a professional photographer. Dude is booked all year round. He's not switching to the mirrorless. He's sticking with the DSLR game. And you know what? I think I'm gonna stick it out as long as I can. I think Canon will eventually switch over to all mirrorless. Uh, that just seems to be the route that everybody's going nowadays, but until I have to absolutely give it up, I'm sticking with my DSLR, I'm sticking with Canon, sticking with it all. And yeah, I hope that kind of helped you guys out. If you're a beginner, I would go Canon. They're just more user friendly. I think they're more affordable as well. And you know, I, I'm i just a Canon person. I, you know, I'm gonna put that out there, but I've definitely used Sony in the past. I've used Nikon in the past too. Nikon is, if you can use it, fantastic. I also don't think they're super user friendly. They're more user friendly than Sony, I will say. If I had to choose one of those two, I'm going Nikon for the friendliness of it. But I think Canon puts out great quality cameras. I think they're affordable. Like I said, get what you can afford. Get the brand that you want. If you're all Team Sony, go for it. Team Nikon, go for it. I just think that, in my opinion, this is the best camera that you can be starting out with. As a beginner, you're gonna look professional, you're gonna learn quickly, and you're gonna get out there and you're gonna do the thing, all right? Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button. I'm posting weekly. We are going to get this thing rolling. We're gonna give out tips every single week. Whatever y'all wanna see, comment down below, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.